Welcome to another episode of Fresh Look at RUSD. Mark, what other events did we have? Welcome. Today we have the STEP conference. All right. Take me to the STEP conference at Bourne's Engineering. You got it. a partnership, it's the Science Technology Education Partnership. It was formed 15 years ago and um, our mission is to inspire students to pursue careers and degrees in STEM fields. My, my parents, Marlon and Rosemary Bournes, started uh, the company as the Bournes Laboratories in 1947 in their garage in Pasadena. In the beginning, my parents made sensors for aircraft, so it would uh, show what the uh, position of the rudder is or the elevator on the aircraft, and, um, and then also the altitude and the direction it's climbing. Over the years, we've changed, so we're not so much in aircraft, more, we're more in automobiles. So we, there's three parts to this conference. So the first part is what we're in right now, is for fourth through eighth grade students. The second part that we initiated about three years ago is through CSERT, partnering with CSERT out of UCR, and they have a great laboratory of lots of great um, research, and so we've invited some high school students to come out and see, and so that's grown exponentially, and now we're expecting about 300 students to go through some of the tours with the grad students in the next two days. It encourages the little kids to come up into programs like this, and then it'll help uh, grow our sensor technology and our grow, uh, grow programs like this and ways of work awareness for, pro for programs like this. Yeah. I think it's important to get them involved in early age, first of all, to get them motivated to do that. You, uh, we don't have enough engineers that are homegrown. You know, we're having to outsource a lot of our engineering in our, in our nation. We want to bring those, those engineering jobs back to the United States. So by getting them started early, it gets them motivated to become an engineer. Not only that, but if they do want to become an engineer, by having some experience at the high school level, it makes them better. It may, it, 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 with, with that earlier exposure, when they get to college, it makes it a, a better experience for them, and it lowers the attrition rate, and we actually get more engineers out of it. I know in the future we'll also start developing even more jobs that are high-tech, which is why a program like Project Lead the Way is so good, so that we can get more people involved in these jobs that you know would require more technology and right. knowledge with um, engineering. Right. The learning process becomes more involved so students are learning deeper uh, how to program, how to design, how to be able to make decisions in terms of what the robot's going to look like, um, how to compete, um, and how to work as a team which is probably the, probably the best thing that they need to learn how to do.
students may think, especially girls, may think that uh, science and math are, are not cool. Uh, uh, they may think that it's too hard, you have to do too much ho homework. Um, and, and so they might go a different direction rather than, than STEM. And so I think that with the, um, the hands-on projects, like we, we show here at the STEP conference and in the Ozone Science Show, students get the idea of what the reason, the reason that you have math and science to, to explain things that happen in the real world. Also to young women to encourage them that this isn't a job just for boys, you know. You, anybody can totally learn this and um, you should totally be encouraged. It, sh it should be something a lot of people should get to start knowing about, especially with so much around us. Well, being the CEO of the company, a high-tech company, I am responsible to make sure that in the future we can hire enough scientists and engineers to develop new products, to keep us a leader in the electronics industry. And so unless we do things like this, uh, I'm concerned that students may not know how much fun uh, STEM is, science, technology, engineering, and math, and know that there's some very good career opportunities, things that they can do to uh, make uh, our world safer and better for, for all of us in the future. Hey, North High School was chosen to host the Achieve UC event to get into campuses like this. Check it out. Today we had the opportunity to have UCR bring the Achieve UC initiative to our school campus and introduce the opportunities that the UC system has to offer for our students. Um, it was an extreme honor. We were chosen out of all the schools in Riverside County, County in the Inland Empire to show that our students that they can actually achieve the UC system and they were able to ask questions and identify what's necessary to become a UC student. One of the key points was making sure you're academically prepared um, and that's in reference to the A through G completion. Um, A through G referring to the different categories of courses that students must take in order to be eligible for the University of California. Um, the important message to them was that the A through G GPA will be viewed upon from freshman, sophomore, and junior year, primarily sophomore and junior years. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really important for them to plan ahead and make sure that they've taken the right sequence of courses to make themselves uh, the most competitive applicant out there. I feel that during the assembly, the whole energy of North really came out and our school was able to really show how like, excited we were to be there for college and to like, better our future. You get into UC not based on who you know, not based on how much money your parents have, but based on your ability and your willingness to work hard. So we're here at uh, North High School uh, trying to uh, not just promote the University of California uh, as a whole, but also promote our campus and let students know that there are ample opportunities throughout the system uh, and that financial uh, factors need not be a, bar be a barrier in attending the university. To see that Chancellor Wilcox came here and the admissions counselor and several of the other staff members was awesome. And to see that we have UC Riverside right in our own backyard and to have that personal connection with the kids here at North High School, juniors and seniors, to answer their questions, to celebrate or talk about the successes that UCR has, the things that will be there for them as they choose UC Riverside. I just couldn't be more delighted for the partnerships that we have with UC Riverside, with Chancellor Wilcox and his staff coming out here today. It was awesome. Way to go.